Hey guys, it's Noke Boy, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, and introduce you into con constructors in Java. So, constructors, uh, for example, you have a project, uh, you want to create a project, and you want to maybe it is a uh, it is a software where you want some some methods like one that uh, adds or calculates or retrieves the values of uh, uh, milk production in a table view. And uh, it wa you want it uh, to be started or initialized uh, at, as soon as you start the project. So you want it to be initialized as soon as you start the project. Or there's some method you want to run uh, when you want to run uh, when you want to start an application. So uh, to do that, you'll be needing constructors. So I'll show you constructors and I'll show you and I'll give you the difference between a constructor and uh, and uh, and methods. So first of all, uh, you select Java, then Java application, select next, and then type in the name of the our project. Sorry, uh, you can decide any name. So I've just decided to use the default Java application for. So you can just change uh, if you need to. So uh, I'll just rename this. Uh, so I'll rename this, and uh, I'll call our class. Uh, let us call our class construct. So I'll refactor it to make the available changes. So that's it. And then now that we have a class construct, uh, so we want to create uh, a constructor. So remember, Java when you don't ja constructors are always there in any Java application, whether you create them or not. Since if the Java uh, uh, Java uh, machine, uh, the Java machine virtual machine does not find uh, any constructor it creates a default constructor for the application or for the class so we will create one and i will show you two types of constructors and i will introduce you to objects in java so now let us create uh, a constructor and a constructor can have any modifier uh, it can be public uh, private protected or something like that so let us uh, for example, we want to create some constructor and constructors take the name of the class. So that's one thing. So we'll call our constructor after the name of our class. So it is a must. If it is a constructor, it should take the name of the class. And you can see construct after the name construct. So our class name is construct. So should our, our, constru our constructor. So let us now if you want this constructor to print out some message so now that we have done that we'll print out some message and uh, i'll print it a message and i'll type in the message here some string value and you can say uh, this was started at, this was initialized at the beginning So if you have some methods and you want uh, to be initialized, you can just place, uh, you can just call them in the constructor. So uh, and then let us now, now here I'll be creating something called an object. An object is just a, a reference or uh, at times I, in layman I can just uh, describe it like a representative of the class. Or let us say, we, so we will create it to give it some more meaning so let us create uh, our, our variable our object and when you want to declare an object you first call the name of the class then type in the project uh, the object name and i will call it uh, obj uh, and then this one is equals to new constructs the name of our class now that is the name that is a, is an object we have initialized the object so when you do this now the object created obj it, it you can use now this object to call any any method inside the class any method in, 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 in 
anywhere in the project. So this is like a representative of the class. And when you run this application, you can see there's some message that has been displayed, the one we typed here. So let me explain now uh, the concept uh, behind constructors. So first of all, you want some message here to be displayed at the beginning of your application. And then now to do that, you need to create a constructor because constructors, they just run at the beginning of the application. You don't need to call them. They're, they, I know they look so more like methods and they work, uh, they, okay, the only difference between constructors and methods is that constructors, first of all, they take the name of the class and then again, uh, they, they can just be initialized at the start of the application. Uh, and you can place a multiple number of methods. You, you don't have to call constructors for them to be initialized like for methods. For methods, you have, you love to call these methods uh, maybe in the public main method or you can just call them from the constructor. So that's one of the advantages of the constructor. So if this application, you want it to be uh, called at, at the beginning of the application, if there's any other method, you want it to be called at the beginning of any other application, you need to use constructors. Now, uh, there's another example where uh, here I created an object. So by creating this object and uh, calling uh, the a new uh, constructor construct by calling the object, I created a new instance of this class construct. So meaning that is the, that's the reason it printed out the message because when you call this mess this this in the public main method and create this object, it now prints out the message. So let us put this uh, some forward slash and uh, put it into convert it into a comment and uh, run the application again you can see nothing was displayed with so without when you don't create the object you cannot display any message so that's it and then again now i want to show you there's some uh, instance where now uh, this constructor now has parameters like for now maybe it has parameters and uh, it's a name and uh, the message here should be the name entered is and then you can just uh, leave it here and add uh, the variable name so when you want to add two strings uh, you always use a plus sign and con uh, so you can see there's some error here because now this is the constructor it gets a new instance of this class and in the, the constructor uh, just defines the data model that this class should be taking and uh, you can see this uh, data model it requires a string for the class now to uh, function correctly so what you do you can just put in here here in the main method where you created the object and now here put some string value and you can see the uh, it disappeared only that we have not placed any name so i'll just type in uh, both my names and uh, when you do that now, we'll run this application again, and you can see it displayed the message quite well. So, constructors are more like uh, methods, but the only difference is that for constructors, you don't have to call them for them to, to run. You just use objects, and you create a new object of the class, uh, of this class of which the, the constructor beholds the name, and then it will, it will instantiate or initialize at the beginning of the, of the application. So that's it for constructors. Hope you learned something, but uh, that was just a simple explanation of constructors. I'll be uh, doing more uh, applicable applications uh, or uh, I'll expound on this in a real-time application where maybe where you have to put some data model types or form in some class. So constructors can be used to construct uh, data models that the class should take. And again, it can also be used to instantiate or uh, initialize some methods that you want it to be called at the beginning of the application. So thank you for watching this video. So hope you learned something about constructors, but I'll be showing you more about constructors in a future application where I'll be creating so much uh, bigger and uh, interactive applications. So that was the, this was just an introduction of constructors, but just take into this channel and I'll show you now the real-time world applications.